This is a dream. No, not a dream. A nightmare. And if sometimes dreams come true, then what of our nightmares? Babylon 5 was always conceived by me to be a history. I created the Babylon 5 universe in either direction, a thousand years, in great detail. Technomages mages have an ancient history to them. They're mysterious, and they bring a sense of wonder to the show. And I want a chance to explore that with uh, a call to arms, set in motion the uh, events for Crusade. We were embarking down a new road, not the same road that we had been on for the past five years. And so we did a call to arms, which set the stage for what the series was about. And it worked very well. And Joe could set up in the minds of the audience the series that was to come. Well, I think A Call to Arms is really our best film that we did. I think that what it shows is that the series is going to continue in, in a different way. And I also feel that there was a maturity of what we were doing. There's no show that we did that looks more interesting and looks more varied than A Call to Arms. Well, if it's anything like what I saw here a week ago, I think you're going to like this. Yeah, I think you're going to like this a lot. The one thing I felt the lack of in Babylon 5 was a really big, impressive ship. And I wanted the Excalibur to be that ship. The Excalibur is supposed to be a mix of Earth and Mimbari technology. Initially, I, I took a very Mimbari approach to it, very curvilinear and had a, kind of a bird feel and some of the feel of the other ships. But the more we worked on it, the more it gradually moved toward more of an Earth feel and more straight lines and it became more recognizable and have more of a scale to it because also it was supposed to be a gigantic ship. So that was another challenge with the thing is that uh, Joe and John wanted this thing to just be immense, you know, like the biggest thing that Earth had ever built and the kind of thing that could have only been achieved by merging these technologies. I think you can see in Sheridan's eye the joy when he walks aboard the bridge and he looks at this tremendous piece of technology that he's going to get his chance to, you know, it's like a, a younger man looking at a hot rod in, in my ed generation, but, uh, you know, he's just, he looks at this piece of equipment and it's just, it's awesome. I had one quarter. Unable to comply, we are still locked into space, Doc. Problem solved. Call to Arms is really solid. From a, a directing standpoint, the story was good. Uh, the performances are terrific. I think Bruce did his best work to date in A Call to Arms. Once again, I foil the, the baddies and escape in our brand new ship and hand it over to them. So it was a, you know, sort of a rite of passage movie. This was going to be my last, because it truly was over. Man. That was fantastic, because I got to just run amok in that one. <laughs> I had a great time. I couldn't have asked for a better exit. I wanted to say our story, the story of humanity, goes on, and that our characters may live and die, but there are those who will follow them down the road. And the crusade would have been the next five years of that story. Yeah.